I'm going to take it back to, you know, the prison system. When I first entered the prison system, I went to Victorville Medium 1. And I had never been to prison, so it was a difference. It's a high medium. Vic- Victorville is in what state? It's in California. So it's not a game It's one of the worst prisons in the fucking system, period, point blank. You hear about Big Sandy, you hear about Bloody Pollock, you hear about Victorville. You know, at a high, a medium high, I didn't go to USP, thank God. Um, but you hear about, you know, all the blood spills, the riots, the violence. You know, I actually made it to the prison during the riots. and So what riot was occurring when you got there? Um, actually, the South had got into it with the, with the Southsiders. Which was just, the, what, was, what do you mean, the southern U.S. states? Uh, yeah, when you, when you in, a, in a system... The black you, inmates of the southern The black U.S. inmates, but it's still all black, so it don't matter. You, you're a black man, you're supposed to ride with your, with your culture. You know what I'm saying? You're going to ride with your people. It's the same way the Mexicans going to ride, the same way the whites going to ride. Um, but everything is segregated. GDs, Vice Lords, Bloods, Crips, uh, Serranos, Northanios, Pisces. Uh, uh, dirty South white boys, or uh, you know, Aryan brotherhoods. There's a lot of different separation, but at this time, I know for a fact that it was the Southern. Uh, it was the Southern uh, blacks that got into it with the Southsiders. And see, the thing about West Coast politics, and I and I exercise this when I end up later on going to the South to Forest City, Arkansas, where Big Meech had been there, Ti had been there. Um, Turk from the Hot Boys have been there. So, what 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 were the what as a you were the documented blood gang member? No, I ain't documented as nothing. Okay, I'm a man. Okay, period, point blank. Um, I did decide to organize the yard because the yard in was in Victorville. No, in Victorville, I mean. You did. Victorville. We, what were some notable inmates that were there when you were there that you interacted in with? Victorville? I mean, uh, you had the leader of the UBN. He was there. What's the UBN? Uh, United Blood Nation. And we ain't talking about, uh, we talking about BL and UBN, prison gangs in California. So that would be gangs that blood gang members from L.A., from California, join. In prison. In prison. They, they, and there's a conflict sometimes, not to get into that, but there is a conflict. Some of them will join, some won't, and there's some... Mm, conflict or friction about do their loyalties to UBN or BL supersede the loyalties to their gang? No question. No question. And that's a dilemma for some. Yeah. I mean, you might have some, it, we call it cut. You know what I'm saying? So you might find your homeboy who one day he was from your hood, he was your dog, and then the day he come back, he UBN. You know, I, I will say, nigga, you got cut on you. Uh, oh, were, were you, I mean, you don't, were you intimidated going into Victorville? No. Nah. I wasn't. I never been in prison, so it was just it was just an everyday walk of my uh, of my path. And, so, and, and you were the things you were convicted and and other investigated in were fairly serious. And you're from both the neighborhood of San Bernardino and Detroit are two America's more violent areas. I mean, you were used to being around pretty serious people and places. Yeah. Even when free. Exactly. So. It was never, fear was never there. Curiosity, I would say, um, due to the fact I had never been to prison. So when I got there, I remember uh, it was the, the, the unit was on lockdown. And when I was getting my mattress, the first person that knocked on the door and beat on the door asked me where I was from. You know, I, I yelled out what I would yell out every other day. Which is? Versus uh, what... A normal person that comes into the federal system would say they would say hey I'm from Detroit San Bernardino you know that wasn't what I yelled out and Do because I because I wasn't used to I mean they know me I'm Jay Joker you know what I mean you can google me you'll find out you know exactly where I'm from and how I come whether so what well, I guess you were yelling out a particular neighborhood man no no question you know what I'm saying because I represent uh you know I'm from Puritan I'm from Gilbert um it's just period. That's just what it's going to be always. You know what I mean? And, you know, I grew up on One Mile too, P Rock area. So, um, it's just a lot of things that I've seen from just being in the, in, the, in the medium. So, first say, being in Victorville. You know, you have Harry O, who was my dog, Trouble Man, rest in peace, yeah, for 20 hours. Harry, Harry O uh, started Death Row. He was the funder, right. the funder of Death Row. Um, 
Then you had, you know, dudes like Trouble Man from Twenty Outlaws who was there. You know, you had a lot of, you know, uh, Speedy from uh, L.A. Lanes. He was there. You know, uh, one of the chief vice lords, uh, T. Fly from Chicago. He was there. You know, so it was a lot of uh, high, high, because it was a disciplinary spot. So if you messed up somewhere, you ended up here. And it was like the fuck up of all fuck ups. So blood spill was a job. Like, you know, you might hear blood spill shit five to eight times a week. So so you you had a job cleaning up spilled blood? No, no. That was a little grasshopper's job. I worked in education. But that was a job. It was just a, it was a job. It was a job to go clean up blood. They pay $25 a spill. So a motherfucker can make two, three hundred dollars just cleaning up blood every week. You know, that was just Victorville. That was like spilled blood almost every day. That's just Victorville. You know what I'm saying? I've seen many butcherings. <laughs> you know, what, uh, what, what would tell us one and like what, what causes, what sort of very seemingly minimal things might cause someone to get very seriously hurt in there? I mean, you got a bunch of people that, okay, let me get into this. West Coast politics. When you're saying politics, for someone that hasn't been in prison, I mean, you ain't talking about the Democrats and Republicans. No, we're talking about the races. So West Coast Sport politics. Games. No, I'm talking races. Oh, that's what politics is. Because, right? and the reason why I'm saying that is because every uh, West Coast politics is like this. There's black, brown, and white. And there's others. Others usually come with, roll with brothers. That would be Asians? That would be Asians or, or, or Tongans or, you know, uh, uh, the Samoans. Exactly. So um, when you go to places like Forest City, Arkansas, which is a low custody level uh, federal institution, you know, they don't know to stick with your own. And we ain't talking about racist shit because I got partners from all, of, all walks of of the system. It just is what's it just makes thrust upon it just makes sense. It's like if I'm over here playing with the white boys, excuse me, and, and we get out of the line and they smash me, now my people's gonna now my people's gonna wanna know what the fuck was you doing horse playing with some motherfuckers that you shouldn't. So you stay in your place. You know, so now say you get to to, to I'll give you two incidents and I start like this. One incident was I'm a gambler, I pay poker. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see them all. That's just period. Um, I deserve the rifle. I felt like I was entitled to a, a, a day or a week to run the poker table. We had high state game. This is in Victorville or Forest City? This is Forest City. Okay. How long were you in Victorville before you got sent to Forest City? I was in Victorville probably about three years. Okay. And I did like the last three and a half in Forest City and I did the last six months and a half with house. Uh... So, so the tension level when you get to four cities lower. Way lower. It's disrespectful. You know, you got Chomo shot callers. You got. Okay, so tell us about a, the card game. A Chomo is a. No, tell us about the card game. Okay, the card game, for example. So you uh, felt that you. I've won and lost a lot of money on these tables so in you particular. Felt you had to they, started, they started a high end game and they didn't include me. Where's the money come from? How are guys. What's a high end game in prison and where are these guys getting their money from? I mean. Like, what stakes are I can't tell you where the nigga get his money from, but I'm going to tell you this. Uh. As long as you got it, you can gamble because it's a cash you, game. Where would you imagine a guy in prison? It's not you. I mean, but. my money came from however I got sent to me, or if if I was making funds in prison. I mean, of course, you got every type of drug on, in in the what, world. What's considered prison. high? What like what types of money? Okay, would high stake games would be. That? It's about five thousand dollars in this game every day. So I mean, are and these, the cut and the cut on that game is equivalent to five hundred to a thousand dollars a day. And that's who's ever running the table. Who run the table? So we decided, they decided to let other people run the table by day. So now I got access to make 100 books. And if you don't know what books is, books and stamps. Uh, stamp values at 20 stamps may be $6. So. Uh, it's a six grand. Exactly. So oh, I mean six no, 100, 100 books is $600. So I might cut $600 today, which that's $600. I don't even got to play the table full. It's just give me access at my money back that I'm losing or I'm winning. So, they decided to do this poker table, and they didn't include me. So, when I found out about that they started a table and didn't include me, I went out there, you know, I yelled, so whoop, you know, 50 motherfuckers pulled up, and I told them I need my day. They said you all the day, pull up on. I pulled up the uh, my boy Omar, who was running the table, 
Uh, he was black. No, he's Mexican. Oh. Um, from Texas. Real good, solid dude, man. Um, why and a, they, and a, why, and a Pisa named Bernie. Why? 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 Bernie were, was cool. Why did they try the exclusion? No, it wasn't them in particular. It was just that greed. You know, less people, more more cut. But I'm one of the real. I, I play this shit so every you, day, so, so I'm a, deserve- I'm entitled. I'm gonna take this, and I took that. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't go with no. I wasn't going. It's just the, it's the way I did it. So what I'm getting at is they wanted to exclude me. Well, I won't say exclude me. They didn't involve me. So I went and I told them strictly, you know, I need a day. So now they went from, you know, a few of them were solid like, damn, we forgot about Jay. He doing the joker do need a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, he ain't lost a lot of money. He didn't want a lot of money. He's a, a, a active player every day. We got to give him. Now, some motherfuckers try to say, no, it's closed. These were all Hispanics? These were both. All mixed races. I yelled, so whoop. The homies come. Seven, you know what I'm saying? It's my dog, you know what I'm saying? Out of motherfucking Kansas City, Missouri, whoop. You know, he showed up. The rest of the niggas showed up. And I just let it be known. Like, look, this is how this going to go. I need my day. You know what I mean? They talked about it. But what I'm getting at, it was a it was a crip from Grape Street, Tennessee. And he went against me. No, I ain't no other nobody getting no tape. I said, look, blood, I ain't talking to you. Watch out. Move around. Simple and plain. Now, I got love for real Grape Street niggas from Watts that I know personally. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't about where he's from. It was about the fact that we black and you going against me. So, you know, me, I'm the type of dude I can't sleep. You know, they gave me my day. You know, um, but I couldn't sleep on it. So, you know, first yard. You know what I'm saying? They'll call med. They'll call main line. I mean, not med, not main line. They'll call uh, meds. So it'll be meds and outdoor rec. That might be at like five fifty between five fifty and six ten in the morning. So you know, I be lying out the door straight to his unit, nigga. This, that, the, this, the this individual, yeah. Great and I'm at his bed. Wake up, <clears throat> man. Get up, blood. You know what I'm saying? I could have drove him, but I didn't. Because I wanted him to understand the difference between going against your folks and staying in pocket. And he don't understand West Coast politics. West Coast politics, I wouldn't give a fuck. I ain't never going against my own for nobody else. I'll shut the fuck up before I put myself in a bad position with my own people. You know what I'm saying? So through me waking him up, you know, whether he feels some type of way, I told him that you feel some type of way, you know what I mean? You got action. But I can't sleep with this on my head, doggy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got this shit fucked up out here. Yo, you can't, don't go against your kind. And look what's going on today in the world. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black people won't even stand up with each other during a time like this. We just lost, lost George Floyd. You know, we lost many others. You know what I'm saying? I remember back in Detroit, we lost Malice Green. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, including Rodney King and all the other ones that had been beat up by police. And you had dudes that was going against you. For the police, they put kites on you and that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just because they don't like how you maneuver or how you get out. Oh, so, so let's, um, okay, there's, there's just so many things you can touch on. So let's um, let's go into some of the, the, give them their little fun story. So let me say this, let me say this. And that, that dark shit about I, I, I'll go into this, I'll go into this. So there's another incident I had on the yard. Um, I ain't going to go deep into details because, you know what I mean, certain people might want to be implemented. But uh, they had a Crip day. You know, the Crips went out there. They played football, baseball. How many of they, them, they, roughly? Um, Ish. More like 20, more like 50, 50. Let's say 50. And there was about 50 bloods? No, nah, it was actually the, the difference between Victorville and Forest City. Forest City was, okay, they got a thing called on, being on count. So if you on count, that means you showing up with your paperwork and you're going to find out where the blood's at. So as soon as I hit the yard, there's two things I want to know. Where the blood's at and where the Detroit niggas at. That's period, point, point blank. Because I'm from Detroit and I'm a blood. So I don't want to know where the California car at. Because I'm, I'm, I, even though I'm from San Bernardino, California, I don't need to know where y'all at. So, I'm going to find y'all. But so, so, okay, if California and Detroit had a problem... Or it really wouldn't work like that. And, and, and Detroit, we players, man, so we ain't never really had too many problems. You know what I'm saying? Detroit's uh, pretty deep car. No, nah, Detroit was a deep car even in Victorville. You know, you had Funk, Calvin, 
You know, some real solid ones. You know what I'm saying? And in Victorville with me. And to be honest with you, the Bloods, we ate right here. Detroit ate right here. So I said wherever the hell I chose to because we sat together. Yeah. And we had an alliance and they already knew, like, nigga, we going with y'all. Because, for one, joker with y'all. And, two, we fuck with y'all, period. See, whoops, we moved a different way. Now, what's, we inter gonna, what's but, interesting to tell people about, so you're in a federal prison, these, these blood groupings are people from different cities and states. Talk about that and the complexity of a decision making from guys from different city and, and how many okay for example how, how did that blood identity form around I'm about, the to, I'm about to give you an example that's what I say when I say it was people that was on count and people that wasn't on count so say you came to the yard boom you come day one uh, you already said you was a blood so they bring you to us say they bring you straight to me you come to me I say look homie this is how it's going to go by the time your property hit I need to see your paperwork once I check your paperwork and you're official, you're good. But because you're from Boston, because you're from Boston, Queen Street, Boston, whoops, go tap in with the Bostons and let them know you're here. You know what I'm saying? If he come back, he Damo Rod. He with us. If he don't come back, he's Boston. So we don't even acknowledge him as a blood. And there was a lot of them in Arkansas. I threw a function. I put this function together. Um, I mean, my, my boy Big out of Flint, rest in peace, man. He helped me. We cooked probably about 20 pieces, 200 burritos. I fed the whole pair. You know what I'm saying? As far as the whoops. But I told him, bring your passport with you. Bring your paperwork. And, and there was so many niggas from St. Louis and Kansas and, I mean, just different parts of, of, of the states that decided before that day came to come say, hey, Jay, man, you know, I'm riding St. Louis, so I'm riding uh, oh, with my town. They had been saying. But they was down move riding, throwing up bloods every time they see you or yelling so whoop every time they see you, but they didn't want to be, they didn't want to look a certain way to their folks because this wasn't a yard where you had to choose where you oh, go. Oh, you get kind of. It was a low, it's low custody. <laughs> 